Are you feeling more like this or like this? This or this? This or this? Those are feelings and they're okay. You've always had them, but right now when it seems like so much is different, you might be noticing them even more or feeling some new ones. That's okay. Hey, I'm May from Kids Club. Emotions can be really helpful. They help us figure out the world around us when things are hard or confusing or really, really good. They're a good and powerful thing that God gave us. And that's actually this week's big idea. Emotions are a gift God gave us. Right now, we're going to watch a video that shows a story Jesus once told his friends. It's about a son who makes some wrong choices and a father who loves his son no matter what. There are only music and pictures in the video, no words, but I bet you'll still be able to tell what emotions or feelings are happening in this story. Let's take a look. You just watched a whole video without any words, but you could probably still tell what the characters were feeling. Did you see the feeling of sadness on the father's face when the son just wanted his money? What about the feeling of disgust when the son thought he would have to eat pig slop because he was so hungry? Or the feeling of joy when the father saw that his son had returned? I bet you recognize some or all of those emotions even without any words. That's because emotions are powerful, and we all have them. You may be feeling lots of different emotions lately. Maybe you're feeling angry because you were about to start playing on a sports team and that plan had to change. Maybe you're feeling joyful because you can stay in your pajamas a little longer than usual. Maybe you're feeling scared because of all the germs you're hearing about. 
all of those feelings are okay. The thing to avoid is letting our feelings get out of control because when that happens, we get out of control. So how do we deal with our feelings and not let them control us? One way is to stop, look, and listen. Stop and name what you're feeling. Is it anger? Sadness? Disappointment? Jealousy? Excitement? Then look at the situation. Maybe write down what you're feeling or talk to someone about what's going on. And most important, listen to what God might be telling you. This can all be kind of tough to understand, so I thought I'd talk to an expert on kids and feelings. It's a kid who has feelings. I'm going to call him right now in three, two, one. All right. Hey, Landon, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. So we've been talking about feelings and mm -hmm. with all the craziness of what's going on and all the new things that kids are experiencing, have you been having any different sorts of feelings? I've been experiencing anger and um, sadness during this time. Um, but I stop and I think about um, how can I do to change this reaction? And um, I listen to what God has to say. And um, I know that um, during this time, um, the quarantine, being angry and sad isn't going to get you anywhere. Being angry isn't going to stop this coronavirus. And so, um, at this time, being angry is okay, but being angry and getting mad at someone else and taking it off on them is not okay. So what advice would you have for other kids right now who are going through the same thing you're going through and they're feeling a lot of different things? Um, all those feelings inside of you, don't let them take control. If you're feeling angry, sad, disappointed, nervous, any of those. Um, do what makes you feel happy and do what makes you feel calm. That's great advice. Hey, Landon, are you ready for, an, for a lightning round? Yes. Okay, you're gonna answer these questions as quickly as you possibly can, okay? Hamburger or hot dog? Hamburger. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Basketball or football? Basketball. <laughs> Basketball or soccer? Basketball. Beach or mountains? Beach. Fast car or Ferris wheel? Fast car. Disney or Pixar? Disney. Chick-fil-A or Chipotle? Chick-fil-A. Reese's cups or Snickers bars? Reese's cups. That's correct. All right, Landon, thank you so much for talking to me. Thanks for helping kids figure out how to deal with their feelings right now. Good job. All right, we're back. Landon has some great strategies for dealing with his emotions, and he knows that they're important. But most of all, Landon tries his best to trust God because he knows God loves him. In fact, that's the verse in the Bible that we're going to memorize this week. It's Proverbs chapter 3, Verse five, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. Stopping, looking, and listening may not come easy at first. That's okay. You can practice and you can practice trusting God. Let's pray about this. God, thank you for making our emotions and our feelings. Thank you that you're bigger than any feeling we could ever have. Help me to learn how to trust you more and more this week. Amen. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic week. We'll see you soon.